we have to know before we spend millions and millions of dollars on an arena to make it magnificent for the convention, we have to know that when the people come down, they're going to have the doors open. Now, if the governor can't tell us very soon, unfortunately, we'll have no choice. It's a really interesting story. The president issuing an ultimatum telling North Carolina that if the state can't commit to full capacity at the RNC within one week from now, they're going to move this summer's event. And Republicans have their pick of new locations with officials from Florida, Georgia, and Texas lobbying for the job. It's quite the pickle. Joining us now with his take, Texas Congressman Louis Germer. Thanks for coming on, sir. We do appreciate it. Um, North right. Carolina, kind of wishy-washy. Uh, Texas is not. Tell us why the president should choose your state. Well, Texas uh, has numerous times had the largest political convention in the country. The Texas uh, State Convention is normally larger than the National Convention. So, mm. and I know my, I've known Greg Abbott for 30 years. Our governor could do, uh, would make sure that it would be a superb event. But what the uh, governor of North Carolina has done is a potential anticipatory breach. That means, like the president says, if they don't let him know, I'd say a week is really being generous, that it will definitely happen, then the damages would be irreparable if they stayed and gave him a chance to do that. So it is time to move. Georgia, I was there four years in the Army, great state, love going to Florida, another great state. Mm -hmm. um, but we could sure handle it in Texas. And by the way, you know, we're called back into session and uh, we're going to supposedly reauthorize the FISA court. I think it's unconstitutional without massive reform. But what a gift to President Trump, because he can then investigate the governor of North Carolina. He can investigate Twitter. And he doesn't even need probable cause under the Fourth <laughs> Amendment. They can just throw the Constitution out and go after his enemies the way the Obama administration did. So that's a great day. It's going to be a good week for the president. Well, let's go ahead and take a listen to what Governor Roy Cooper has to say in response to the RNC. Let's listen to this. We've been in talks with the RNC about the kind of convention that they would need to run. We don't know what our situation is going to be regarding COVID-19 in North Carolina. We want to see from the RNC what their plans are, and we have asked them to submit those plans to our public health officials. I mean, on one hand, I mean, you're laughing a little bit, but is that fair to see the yeah. plans to submit them to the health officials? Uh, it is if you're a dictator. It's perfectly fine if you're a dictator. Then you want to know all of the plans. But uh, in America, no, it is not appropriate. A uh, Republican convention should not have to go begging a governor and, and showing them everything they're going to do in advance. Now, if the hurricane came, understandable. But this is completely in the hands of the governor. He's saying, well, we'll rely on science. It's still his call. And if he can't yeah. say we're making the decision and we're going to have it come help or high water, then they need to, the convention needs to be moved. And again, Texas would be a great place. This is, I mean, why this is so interesting is that this is the perfect microcosm for the story that we're seeing right now in this country. You've yeah. got a Democratic governor in a swing state. You've got the fear of the yeah. virus versus the pain of the lockdown. And you've got this one man that needs to make this decision. And either way, he's going to tick off one side or the other. Uh, this is a really, really tricky political uh, kind of wire you got to walk. Yeah, well, it is. And uh, but for he's already showing his hand. He's showing that he's going to be a dictator over this thing. And since he's indicated the potential for an anticipatory breach, then, yeah, we, he, uh, President Trump either needs to get the guarantee or it needs to move.